Hello and welcome to episode 18 of series 3 of Master League Story Mode. Today is the seven side derby as Bristol City welcome Welsh rivals Cardiff over the River Severn, over the Severn Toll Bridge, which has been the gates have been opened today to let the Welsh in. Uh, that's a big game we've got coming up. Before we get into that, a little bit of good news. Uh, for those of you who remember, when we hit 500 subscribers, not much more than a week ago, um, I said I was going to do a live stream uh, as a little surprise, a little treat. Hopefully a chance to get to know some of you guys, have an actual chat with you live. Well, that's happening this Friday, Friday the 13th, uh, starting at 8 o'clock. I'll remind you again in the next episode, and also I'll be putting it on my Twitter, etc. It's going to be streaming on YouTube, so to, just to make sure that you're there, because you don't want to miss it. Make sure you uh, turn notifications for this channel on, and hopefully you should get a little uh, ding. And you'll hear my dulcet tones live and direct. So that's going to be interesting. Uh, also, another bit of admin. Uh, in the last episode, we noticed that our new signing, Angel Tosende, a.k.a. Angelino, a.k.a. the Archbishop of Banterbury. And I say that because he's got 69 on his shirt. I thought it was just a random quirk of Pez that it had chosen that number for him. But no! He actually has chosen that number, much like someone who's printed out a shirt for their lad's holiday to Magaluf. He's got 69 and Angelino on the back. That's his style, and I like it. And it's an appropriate number to have, because as we saw in the last episode, he's very good at both ends of the pitch. Oi, stop that. Okay, anyway, I think we can get into the episode now. So let's take a look at the sides for today's game. Okay, how are we doing? Oh, that is not looking good. We have had a bit of a fixture pile-up, but to come right before the derby, that's that's painful. Well, Dowell, he's out. There's no question about that. Half, almost half dead before he's even on the pitch and on a downward arrow. Uh, there's no way he starts. So, ooh, Rossiter as well. Oh my God. Well, Rossiter can come in. I'm not starting Lee Tomlin at the moment because he's been letting me down consistently. Oh, but wait! I'd almost forgotten. Big Tammy is back in town. And he's still improving. That flashing blue arrow is still there. Ugh. For new subscribers to this channel, you might not be aware of Tammy Glasslegs Abraham. Uh, he was our top scorer to begin the season. Excellent player. Only 19 years old. He's been on a uh, dramatic improvement curve for a while. That's the flashing blue arrow that means he's going to improve at a faster rate than usual. But he's managed to pick up not one but two separate long-term injuries during this improvement period and it, oh, it's been a real real shame for him but he's back in the side today and uh, Dick Raham that duo up front hopefully we can uh, see some more good stuff from them and Marty's well up for the derby desperate Dan's gonna kick some ass Magnuson Flint oh they're not looking good either squad depth a bit of an issue here um, I mean I think we should play Goldborn at the back for Angelino maybe bring him on as a uh, impact sub so the Archbishop, he's going on the bench. And then Matthews, well, we oh, we can't not start Matthews, especially a Welshman up against Cardiff City. He'll want to be playing. Uh, Flinty on the downward arrow. Oh. I mean, that is poor. He's going to be tired and he's on poor form. No, I'm doing it. I don't want to do this, but I'm going to have to. Tomlin starts. So there we go. There we have it. Not ideal for the derby. Quick look at Cardiff City. Well, they've got big Ricky Lambert up front. And then five across the midfield. Pretty condensed as well within that area. Should be pretty tough for us to break down. So it's going to be interesting. Uh, Sol Bamber at the back. He's a he's a really strong centre-back to come up against. But um, yeah, we've been playing well. We've been playing well. So uh, it's a shame to see Dowell out of the team. But um, he's not really going to get a chance. But I'll put him on the bench anyway. Ooh, not the best. So as you can just hear in the background now. The Bristol City fans are out in force today for this local derby. It's got so much more significance in that it's England-Wales. That's always, always a big matchup. But to uh, for a local derby as well, just across the border, adds a little bit of spice to the occasion. Now, I am no historian, but I can definitely imagine that in times gone by, hordes of feral Welshmen will have paddled across the Severn to try and pillage and plunder and rape the uh, kind, gentle folk of Bristol. And that is exactly what Cardiff City will be trying today. And that's exactly what we'll be attempting to prevent. Uh, but at football, not rape. So, let's go. 
Cherie's there. Cuts that out. And now Tomlin into Dicko. He should have the pace to get away from Richards, but he doesn't. Richards in there really strongly. And now Cardiff looking to Bill with Whittington out to Noon. Great ball in looking for Lambert. Defensive mix up there. Goldborn just does enough. Whoa. That's not what we need. Oh, Matthews. The Welsh. Um, some sort of good right back. Long ball from Rossiter. Looking for Matthews. Doesn't find him. But Bamba's caught in possession here by Cherie. He turns. Swivels. Looks for Dicko. Never going to find him with that. Pack's now got it. Wide to Matthews. Cuts back inside. Ball along the line. Looking for Abraham. Can he get there ahead of Sol Bamba? It's going to be a difficult matchup for him today. He's a big, strong centre-back. Dicko now. Putting the press on high in the pitch. Oh, and he's won it back. The pressure was too much. Dicko outside of the football into Cherie. Doesn't make it. Amos there. Able to collect. Cherie. Tomlin. Into Pack. This is better. Now Abraham. Back to Pack. He sees the run of Dicko through the centre. He's got the pace to get away from Morrison. Squares it, looking for Abraham. And Tammy pokes it home. Back after 12 long weeks of injury. The sadness that the Bristol City fans and Ian Holloway and myself and the whole world felt when this exciting youngster was injured for not the first but the second time whilst in the middle of a dramatic improvement period. It was gut-wrenching stuff. Out for a combined total of, uh, oh, it must have been... 20 weeks. It's been insane. He must have been on the longest improvement curve ever. But uh, he's in the right place at the right time here as Dick Raham come together again. And it's a little poke inside from Dicko and another little poke from Tammy. But we're ahead in the derby. It's a dream start here at Ashton Gate. Oh, Tomlin's won it back again. And he lines up the shot from distance. <sighs> Amos looks scared. And rightly he should be when big Lee Tomlin is staring down a pass. I mean, sorry, staring down a shot from distance. Worth a crack for the big lad. Saw his chance. Always going wide. And now noon for Cardiff City. Good pace to get away from Tomlin. Unable to make the tackle there. Good 1-2 play here. Whittingham back out to noon. Dangerous position for the cross. Rossiter gets a foot in. Oh, and it's great play from Jordan Rossiter. Oh, but he's held on too long. The shot comes in. It's wide. Jordan Rossiter went from hero to zero. In a few seconds there, he made the block. And dribbled away. A sensible pass now would have been key. Luckily, no goal. So there we go. What a start to this derby. We've gone a goal up. We've been the better side. Cardiff keeping possession well. But uh, ultimately been pretty toothless when it comes to attacking play. Um, okay, possession's pretty close. They've not been allowed a shot on target. And that's what you want when you welcome your biggest rival to your home stadium. You want to suffocate them. You don't want to allow them to play their football. And I think we've done a good job of that so far. Short free kick. Out to Marlon Pack. He's looking for the overlap of Matthews. The Welshman. Puts it into the box. Dicko's there. Misses the header. And it's out all the way for a throw at the other side. We've still got Cardiff pinned back here. Goldball making a use of himself. Means that we come away with the ball. Lee Tomlin early cross. is a flat one into Abraham. It falls to Dicko. The volley was on. Dicko second chance effort. Hits it with the left. It's a wild one. And it's wide. Gnarsson into Lambert. Looks wide to Whittingham. Magnusson's across. Great tackle from Magnusson. He's been huge today. Absolutely huge so far. Dicko sees Cherie in loads of space. It's one on one. Cherie. Can he make it two? Oh! Too much time, you could say. You could also say shocking finishing. Oh, Magnusson steps inside. Cherie will be gutted about that. But he goes forward again into Matthews. Oh! He scythed down there. Matthews is away. About to whip in what was going to be surely a goal-scoring cross. It's a rightful yellow card. Nasty challenge there. Oof. So it's Cherie over this one. It's got to be looking for Tammy Abraham far post. It's a nicely weighted ball! Abraham is there with the diving header. And it's two back in the team. That link up Cherie to Abraham, we've seen it a million times before. It's beautiful. It's absolute poetry to behold. Abraham did so well. It's the athletic diving header from the big man. Oh, and that puts us in a much more comfortable position here. Goalkeeping, suspect, finishing, unerring. That's the Tammy that we've missed so much. It's Gunnarsson here. Last chance saloon for Cardiff City. Gunnarsson has it nicked off him by Rossiter. And now we can come forward again through Kozak. Cherie inside to Abraham. 
Could if he can find the ball now to Kieran Dow. Into Cherie. Sol Bamba, such power. He gets there. Kozak, can we finish it? No! Kozak is just not a very good goal scorer. Well, there we go. 2-0 in the derby. What a result here for Bristol City. We've been on an excellent run and form into this game. But these derbies can go either way. So in the end, although uh, possession was tight, we definitely limited Cardiff City's ability to get shots in. And uh, that was the difference in the end. Abraham, man of the match on his return. That's the big story here. That's the happy news for Bristol City fans. Their man is back. Tomlin actually had a pretty decent game. For all the shit that I talk on Lee Tomlin, he was uh, put his weight around today. He's not in significant weight. And uh, actually was pretty good as a central midfielder. Won the ball back, able to distribute. Uh, Ricky Lambert just didn't get a sniff today, which is good because given the chance, he will score at this level. So great result, great result. And there we are. We're level on points with Fulham. So, you know, we're not pulling away so much. Fulham definitely keeping pace. Newcastle within sight as well. Uh, there's a bit of a drop off for Villa. Six points now behind Fulham. Uh, so Fulham are our closest rivals at the moment. And then below that, you know, playoff place. We're now 14 points ahead of Bri Brighton in sixth. Playoffs is almost a guarantee at this point. It's just, can we get automatic promotion? Take the risk out of the situation. Magnussen still improving. That's been a welcome one. Didn't see that coming. He's 24 years old, maybe even 25. So it's rare to see a dramatic improvement at that age. But big Tammy. Yes, what a return. Finishing up to 75. Speed to 81. Jump to 73. These are all great stats for a, a pure striker like him. And he's up to 70. Great stuff. And it's a nice long rest now before the next game. Fatigue was an issue there. Somehow he was able to get through it with a bit of a skeleton squad. And look who it is in the next game. Just as we spoke about our nearest rivals. It is Fulham and we're away. A trip to the cottage for Bristol City. What an episode this is in terms of drama. We're up to 83 team spirit. That's huge. Um, there's nothing more for me to really say than let's get on with it. So as you can see, Tammy Abraham retakes his position. At the top of the tree. No, it's not a flashing arrow. But Kieran Dowell is back in the side. And he's on a blue arrow. He's uh, He's been really, really great for us. Um, we want to see him in the team as much as possible. Alongside Pack and Amati in the centre. We're back to our full strength side today. Angelino back in as well. Um, which is good. Because Fulham, like us, have been flying in the league. And we really need to set down a marker here. And uh, really stake our claim to that second spot. Um, but in terms of form, we're looking like we're well up for it. So uh, let's get into it. So here we are. It's a lovely little journey down, really. Not a long one from Bristol to Fulham. And what a beautiful stadium it is. Craven Cottage, probably my favourite stadium in the Football League. Um, I don't know if they've got the actual cottage in here. No, it won't be the real real stadium. But it's a lovely, lovely side, lovely family atmosphere. Um, but Bristol City, they're not coming here for fun and games. They're coming here to beat their nearest rival in the league. Oh, nice foot in straight away there. And now Dowell, great feet. We missed him in the last game. Cherie back into Dowell. Looks for the ball through to Abraham. Abraham cuts back inside. Shoots with the left. Curling effort, optimistic from outside the box. But Abraham full of confidence after his last game. And uh, that was nice fluid football there. We'll be looking to find balls through to Abraham from Dowell. He's got great vision. Like Cherie, but actually a better passer than Cherie. Matthews now into Marlon Pack. Cross to Dowell. Threads it to Cherie. Overlapping run from Matthews. Near post is Dicko. Gets ahead to it. Great save. Was that pushed onto the bar? Just pushed over. More great attacking football here from Bristol City. Dowell again with a pinpoint pass. Cherie looking for the always willing fullbacks. And uh, oh no, it's just off the bar. It's a Goodson now through the centre. Amati putting the pressure on. As is Dowell. High press here and Cherie's won it back. How many times have we seen that? Ball into Abraham. Can he make it three in two games? No, he can't. But Dicko can as he gobbles up the rebound. And that is us ahead again against Fulham. Huge, huge match here. Dicko's been quiet in the last couple of games. But he's popped up with a goal there. It's uh, Dick Raham <laughs> combining again. Not really combining, but you know the two of them. One of them's going to score. Cherie is so good at that, ball winning in that position. And uh, it always leads us into a really good goal scoring opportunity. 
And Dicko's there to accept the rebound. We're 1-0 up at the cottage. It's Cabano out to Johansson. Pack coming over to cover. Scott Parker inside to Martin. Nice little ball into Ayite. He's found a little bit of space. Ball back inside. Doesn't find anyone. But Flint's clearance inexplicably to no one. That's a lovely back kill into Cabano. Oh, brilliant tackle. Huge tackle there. Don't know who that was. But it was an on-the-line block. But still, Fulham coming forward with Cabano. He's the danger man. Great ball into Martin. He turns. Magnussen's there, though. And calmly puts it away. Here is a Marty now. Oh, almost dispossessed. Pack nice ball. Abraham collects it. Finds the on-run of Cherie. Little chip ball in. Looking for Dicko. He takes it down. It's gone really wide. Too wide. Angelino streaming in, though. Gets there. Ball along the floor into Cherie. Angelino bombing on. Cherie should have finished that. He smashes the floor in disgust. Look at the pace here from Angelino. The explosive power. He had no right to get there. Gets to the byline. Fires it in to Cherie. Should have finished there. Gutted. Gutted as he tries to dig. Dig himself into the ground. And hide his head. Well, there we go. Half time here at the cottage. And Bristol City go ahead with a, uh, a rather fortunate goal for Dicko. But he had to be there to score it. Essentially an open goal when it fell to him after Abraham had uh, profited from Cherie's excellent work in midfield, winning the ball back. Um, mm, well, we're playing okay. Nothing spectacular, but a win here. Absolutely huge for our automatic promotion uh, quest. So, uh, come on. Second half. Keep it going. Adoy, long ball. Flint battling with Martin. Oh, nearly falls to him. It's sloppy here, but Matthews can get it away. Now Abraham, first time ball for Cherie. He spins really well. Can he look to use the pace of Dicko? Dicko not making the run that we would have wanted there. And Cherie loses possession. So he tried to find an option. And now Fulham coming forward. I've suddenly become even more closely aware that we're only a goal ahead. Angelino, as we said, great at both ends. And, uh, let's cut that out. And Amati can spread it wide to Matthews. Goes back inside to Marlon Pack. Looking for the easy ball into Dowell. Just about reaches him. Now Pack into Abraham. Oh! Marlon Pack swivels, finds a Marty. Marty, little burst of pace. It's away from one. Easy tackle, though, in the end. Showed too much of it to the Fulham player. And now it's a Yeeti to bring it forward. Dowell gets a good foot in, but it falls to Cabano. And now Johansson can bring it forward. Dicko misses his challenge. It's good tracking back, though, from the centre forward. But the 1 2 is on here. Aiden Flint does well. It's Smith 1 on 1. Oh, he's missed it. He's missed it. Well, well, well. How different this game could be feeling now at 1 all. It was good play from Fulham. The return ball. Flint couldn't quite bring it under control. Mika came out really quickly. But it's put well wide. But Fulham wriggle away. 10 seconds left on the clock. Rossiter's in there. He collects the ball. We collect another win. And that is a big one in the race for automatic promotion. As we saw in the table before the game, Fulham are closest rivals, our only real rivals. Everyone else, six or so points away. And that is a massive three points. A six-pointer, you could say. Does that still work at the top of the table? 50% possession. Pretty even game throughout. Um, the goal was a fortunate one, but we're on that sort of run of form where the ball, things just fall to us at the moment. Uh, and Dicko gets a... a Another goal to add to his impressive total for the season so far. Pulling three points ahead of Fulham. That's how, again, that's the maths behind it. Two points behind Newcastle. But we just need to keep this spot secure. Still only two losses this season. Still only 15 goals conceded. We are a strong side. There's no doubt about that. We deserve to be promoted. Magnussen's still improving. It's great to see. As is Abraham. 77 attacking prowess. Now that is great. Plus 73 physical contact. Uh, attacking prowess is an often underrated stat in Pro Evo. But for a striker, it affects so many things. His ability to stay on side. His ability to make the right runs at the right time. So to see that improve. Definitely a good thing. Magnussen up to 74. Lovely stuff. And it's a nice long week for our next game. Which is back at Ashton Gate against Wolves. And uh, that will be the first game of our live Stream, the first in Pez Story Mode history. We're on a five-match winning streak. We're up against Wolves in the next game. And, uh... Ooh, what's this? And Marty and Angelino's contract negotiations have broken down. We tried to get a few more years out of them. Dowell, 
That seems to be working. Um, I'm not too concerned about that. We've got still a year on those players. They've only just signed. We were just trying to tie them down at this point. Lovely stuff. So as I was saying, yes, the next game will be against Wolves at Ashton Gate. And that will be our live game at 8 o'clock on Friday. Set your alarm. Set notifications up on this channel. I'll see you then. And we can have a nice little chat. And you can ask me some questions. If you've got any questions, give me some suggestions and tips live. That's how it's going to work. Hopefully it'll be fun. Hopefully it won't go wrong. It'll be my first time streaming, so uh, you'll be learning with me. And uh, yeah, I look forward to seeing you all there. It'll be a lovely party. And I'll see you in a bit.